So what I'm, what I'm going to do first is um, just start up a, one of our applications called the FME uh, Viewer. And the reason we do this is because really the first task we like people to do when they're translating data is to check what data they're working with. And we have this tool called the FME Universal Viewer, and we have the FME Data Inspector as well. And it's just a way to inspect your data and look at it before you're starting to translate it. So what I'm going to do is open an AutoCAD file. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just click on the list of formats so you can see some of the formats we support. We've got literally hundreds of them um, in this uh, formats gallery, which I hope you're seeing. And I'm going to pick AutoCAD DWG from there. And I'm going to browse for the file, which is going to be data, water, and we're going to look at tile M25. Yeah. Yeah. So opening data, I can change some of these parameters. I'm just going to very quickly do that, uh, just so you can, um, uh, just so I can see, you can see the data in the format it's best suited in. And this is the data we're going to be working with today. It's um, a set of uh, pipelines. And if I zoom in, you'll see there's pipelines, there's um, uh, distribution nodes, and there's water meters, which are represented by the, uh, the text. So this is a good way to look at our data before we start to translate it. Uh, but it's not just the case that we can just open uh, CAD data on one data set at a time in here. What, what I can do is I can add some other information as well. So for example, I can add some uh, map info data. Let's see if I can find that. It's in properties and parcel M25. So I can open up GIS data and CAD data at the same time in, in the FME viewer. And that's really a, a very nice uh, piece of functionality uh, that's pretty unique, I think. And the other thing we can do is even add some raster data. So I'm going to add some Mr. Sid data um, to this display. And let's see, I've got it in my raster folder, Mr. Sid. And let's see, I can just pick out multiple tiles to read. I don't, I'm not restricted to one uh, tile at a time. And we'll pick out those four tiles, which I believe should cover this area. And it's covering the data. I can just drag that underneath. And now we can see our data on top of that raster backdrop. And we can see that it, it, it does, in fact, line up, which is a good thing. Yes, that's always helpful for, <laughs> uh, for, for starting. But that, that's a good point, though, because, I mean, if it wasn't lining up, you'd want to know that before you started translating it. Um, yeah. So th this is why it's really important to look at your data before you, uh, you do anything. That's right. So, so, Mark, you mentioned early on that there was a data viewer and a data inspector. Why, why do we have both? Well, the data inspector is the, uh, the new application that's, uh, that's still in beta mode at the moment, but we're coming yeah. out soon. Um, yeah. And the big advantage is that it's going to be faster. It's going to do 3D data as well, which uh, we yeah. don't do at the moment with this. And it'll, and it'll have also a... run on um, other platforms, so it'll run on li natively on Linux and uh, Mac OS ultimately. That's right. And for the um, the existing FME users, it's also going to have a table view for your yeah. non-spatial data. I'm sort of letting the cat out of the bag a little bit there, but um, that's okay. We're... If people um, you know are on the FME 2013 beta, they're going to see that very very shortly.